animals to say hello to in 64 Zoo Lane and wonderful movies to watch right now in the savannah with Mama Mirabel. It's time for Mama Mirabel's home movies. In all my far flung travels round the world six times at least, I made a movie star of every creature found beauty. It's time for your story, then off to bed. <laughs> Max! Max! I've got a new friend, Keisha. She's visiting from Australia. Can you come and stay the night with us, Max? Oh, can I, Mama? Can I, can I? Are you sure it's all right with your mother to add another one, Carla? Oh, it is, it is. Well, all right then. Just don't stay up too late. <laughs> Keisha, this is our friend Max. I've heard a lot about you, mate. Nice to meet you, uh, but my name is Max, not mate. Keisha's from Australia, Max. A mate is just what they call their friends down there. Yeah, she's a wombat. Well, come on, everybody. The night is young. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe you sleepy heads would rather go off to Betty Boy instead then. Who needs sleep? Not me. But, uh, me neither. All right then, I've got a great game. Follow me, guys. Okay, first we make a really big mound of dirt. Then I stand on the top of it and you try to get me off. Whoever does it is queen of the hill. Fun! Yeah, except I'll be king when I win. Oh, OK. I'm tired. Aren't you tired, Bo? Me? Ugh, no way. I could stay up all night. Keisha, is the hill big enough yet? No, it's got to be much bigger. Mm, oh, I'm sorry. I have to go to bed. Oh, me too. Come on, Bo. Uh, uh, did I win? Uh. Tired, eh? Oh, no worries, guys. I'll finish the hill while you catch some winks. And we'll play tomorrow. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like our three little four-leggers stayed up way past their bedtime. I'm afraid they were excited about their little friend Keisha visiting. I think I'd better wake those sleepy heads before they miss the whole day. <laughs> Is it morning now, Mama? Rise and shine, sleepy heads. Half the day's gone already. Come on now. You just need a bit of stretchy stretching to get the blood flowing. Ah, like this. Oh, stretch. <sighs> ah, there. How do you sleepy heads feel now? Hey, I wonder if Keisha has finished the hill. Wow. I wonder where Keisha is. She must have stayed up all night. I don't think she ever sleeps. Well, now, wait just a minute, Carla. Every single animal in the world needs a little bit of snoozy-woozy now and then. Not her. She's from Australia. OK, I can see there's a movie you ought to see. Come on. Hooray! <laughs> Movie time, it's 
One's a big snooze. Ah, come on, you lot. Try and stay awake for this one. It's pretty short. Fireflies, light it up. Ah, yes. No matter who you are, we all need sleep. Like my old friend here, Bridget the polar bear. She looks how I feel. And not only do animals need sleep, but some need a lot of it. Oh, hey, boys, follow me! Bridget can sleep through the entire winter in a snowy den with her new cubs. <laughs> looks like winter isn't quite over yet. Most animals are like you three. They like to stay awake during the day and sleep at night, like these dogs. They can curl up in a ball. I can do that. And what about naps? Naps are important too, aren't they? Oh, yes. There's nothing like a good nap, Maxie. These cousins of Chip, Flip and Kip look like they're ready for one now. But why do we all need sleep, Mama? Well, sleep is our way of recharging our batteries, Bo. If you don't rest, you don't have enough energy to do what needs to be done. Yes. I have been feeling sort of uncharged today. Yes, we all need sleep. Uh, oh, it's Uncle Jerome. <laughs> That's right, Maxie. Elephants need three to four hours of sleep every day. And zebras sleep about four hours a day, while cheetahs need 12 to 13 hours of sleep. Wow, no wonder I'm sleepy. So you see, everybody needs to sleep. Yeah, except Keisha. Hmm, still not convinced, eh? Well, let's just go and find Keisha, shall we? There you guys are. I've been waiting for you. Can't anyone take my place as queen? Hello, Keisha. Come on down and meet my mama. Hey there, Max's mama. <laughs> so you're big, aren't you? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I should have known. Keisha's a wombat. Of course I'm a wombat. What's that got to do with anything? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> the thing is, not all animals sleep at night. Some animals sleep all day and stay up at night, like this owl. Yeah, and me too. <gasps> what? You, you sleep, sleep during, during the day? Sure, doesn't everybody? I just woke up. Well, not really, Keisha. But for some animals, nighttime is a better time to get food. Animals that sleep during the day and stay awake at night are called nocturnal. Yuck. Is that his dinner? It could be breakfast, Bo. He might have just gotten up. I don't care if it's breakfast, lunch or dinner. I still say yuck. Even the babies stay up all night? Yes, but they have a bedtime just like all of you. It's just that it's in the morning instead of at night. Right, Keisha? Right. Is that a possum? Oh, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> That's Petey, an opossum I met once. You see those eyes? They're especially suited for the dark. For opossums, being out at night is safer than being out in the day. I can see pretty well at night too. <laughs> that possum's just hanging out. <laughs> oh, I'm too tired to laugh. <laughs> and there's one other nocturnal animal I really think you should see. A, a wombat. wombat! Yes, it is. That 
looks like my Aunt Sheila. Wombats like this one do things like, well, digging during the night and during the day, they're asleep. Nocturnal, are they? But it's not night yet. That's true. It's just that they've had a very long day. Pity, that hill's just perfect now. Well, I'm not tired. I'm the queen! I'm the queen of the hill! Oh, not for long, my wimbly wombly wombat. Mama Mirabelle's coming to get ya! Wahey! See? 